Okay, here we have it, white bronze. And most of you probably never heard of this because it is not a widely used alloy. And from the little experimentation I've done with it, I can already tell why. It does look really nice, very silver, super easy to buff, and it also has a good weight to it, at least compared to aluminum, but it's very, very brittle. And yes, I tried to mix in more copper, even double the amount in another test, and the results are unfortunately pretty much identical. And hey, I am not saying it's useless. It had applications like monuments and statues in the past. You can look it up, although there is not really much information about it online. So I can see how also the percentages of metal I used might be the incorrect one for toughness. And I wanted a metal that can be forged. So this is definitely not the right path. And for now, I won't do any more research on this material. Instead, I want to try another alloy of copper and silver, uh, Shibuichi, that is traditionally used for fittings in Japanese swords. And I guess that's the way to go, because indeed I want to make the habaki for my wakizashi in a silver metal, like the one on the original sword I am trying to replicate. And just a few final words about safety. Water casting is commonly used in jewelry to prepare metals for alloying, because these small drops makes it easy to weigh precisely, but it's probably done mostly for small quantities. And I just want to point out there are serious safety concerns when it comes to molten metal and water. And even just humidity, like if you spill molten metal on humid concrete, the water flash boils, uh, making the molten metal explode, and you don't want to be around that. So don't do this unless you really know what you're doing. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon in the next project. Bye.